Ah, little! One of my clerks was just here with a message for you. The students of Valdessa request your presence in Charlie and your earliest convenience. Indebted as I am to your friends, I'd hoped that I too might be of service, but it is you alone that they require. If you've no pressing business, pray make your way to the Baldessian Annex at once. Ojika awaits your arrival. Okay, I'll do it. In the meantime, I shall continue showing Ashdaya the city. From... I forgot! From notable landmarks to the people's lives, there's still much and more for her to see. I forgot you were a little cutie pie now. Farewell for now, my friend. I look forward to the day we set forth on another adventure together. Also, is that new? The Masasaurus? Is that new? That guy looks new. Oh yeah, there it is. Yo, that shield and sword is cool as hell looking. That's a vibe. That's a vibe I dig. Yeah, da 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 Hello, fellow nerds. What's going on, school kids? Oh, no, it's just Ojika. A warm and hearty hello, welcome and stuff, whatever. Anyway, gather, I gather received our message. Please wait here while I fetch Kryl and Graha. Thank you for coming on such short notice. And forgive us for sending uh, for you so soon after your trials in the void. To say nothing of your grueling battle against the Twelve. Now then, you aren't actually the ones who require your presence, but Erinville. He stopped by recently, you see, and asked us to reach out to you on his behalf. I imagine you're surprised as we are given that he was supposed to be away on a long expedition. So she just wore that earring and we're all supposed to be like, oh, damn, that green mage accessory. Ignore it. <laughs> Time out. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Images. Images of characters. Images of ca Nope. Nope. Not on her. Not on her at all. I was going to say, maybe, maybe, uh, uh, Yoshi P had like the biggest big brain idea of all, but I realize that's probably me just overthinking it. Um, I was going to say, does Realm have a, you know, like a clover earring? But, uh, no. That earring is some sort of yellow earring. I was thinking maybe, maybe, maybe. But nope. Story of my life. Something must have necessitated a change in his plans. All he would tell me is that there was someone whom he wishes little to meet. He also mentioned that he would be tending to business at the studium. Shall we look for him there? To the to the nerdium. all hang out. Now then, where is Aaronville? Apologies for the wait. I hope I haven't called you away from anything important. I chanced upon some commissioned items at my destination. 
so I thought I might deliver them. Where did you go, if I may ask? The New World. Tural. You went to Tural? Then the person who you wish to introduce... Aye, she hails from there. I present to you... Was she just hiding? Where was she at? <laughs> but it seems you've lost her. I was about to say... Did she wander off? <sighs> Yo, this one's for all the furries. Enjoy. Sorry, sorry. It's just so different here. I can't help but want to explore. Well, while you were exploring, your candidate came to us. This is him. The adventurer you crossed the seas to meet. Hey. Ooh, you weren't exaggerating. It's playing he's no ordinary man. Oh, I love when she looks down at him. Oh, that's so cute. I'm Wuklamat, claimant to the throne of Tuli Hyola. Oh, that's so cute. They do the bend down to be like, it's clear. He must be very strong because he's a little cutie boy. He's a little cutie boy. Tuli Hyola. I love that Kryle had to say the name that we're going to have to say forever. Tuli Yalal. And she said it in a way that every person on planet Earth can be like, okay, I think I know how to say that. We'll all forget by the summer. Don't worry. <laughs> it's Tural's governing nation. The capital bears the same name. I'll get to the point. I want you to come with me to my homeland. Given the magnitude of the request, perhaps you should explain why you're making it. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real truthful, and I know they haven't included the uh, graphical updates yet, but she looks better here than in the trailer cinematic. I'm just going to say that. Like, she looks way more like a cat. Does that make any sense? Am I crazy? Like, her design here looks awesome. <laughs> of course, of course. Soon, an event of great import will be held in Tural. The Rite of Succession. Taking the form of a contest, it will determine who next ascends the throne. As daughter to its present keeper, I will participate. And I have every intention of winning. You know what? They did really well. The voice actor, I know that they already announced... They put out a thing on, on Twitter, but... I do not remember who the voice actor is, so I just want to say this now. Uh... I love that they sound like a cat. Their voice sounds like a cat. Am I crazy? They have like like a like if it like the joke that I make when I when I pretend to be a cat where I'm like, yeah, I'm a cat, bitch. That's the same underlying tone of this voice and I love it. <laughs> I love it. I was searching for champions to join me when Aaronville told me about you. Tell me that there isn't like a meow at the end of that. Tell me that's not there. Meow. A mighty warrior who knows no fear, who sweeps aside terrible fiends as if they were reeds, who flew to the edge of existence and saved our star. Meow. She asked who Eorzea's greatest hero was, and so I told her. Much more elegantly, I might add. Now you know why. You'll come to Toral, yes? Wait, let's all just slow down. I have a lot of questions. If you're a cat, and I'm a cat, how did that even work? Where along the evolutionary... This is like... If... I don't know, it's like if Goofy and Pluto had a conversation. I just don't understand. 
Wuklamat, was it? You claim to be of the royal family, but is it not the Mamunja who rule in Tural? Tulichyolal is a nation of many peoples, not only the Mamulsha, as some across the seas are quick to assume. Ooh! Well, 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 Graha stands. Looks like your boy's a little racist. A little culturally inexperienced. Take that. Take that. And sure, you might say, well, he lived in a crystal for a hundred years. That's no excuse. Read a book. Educate yourself, Graha. That said, its present ruler is a Mamulja. Oh, never mind. And one blessed with two heads, besides. Never mind. No, he was, ac he was actually accurate. That stereotype was real. Never mind. We're good. He's also my father. Not by blood, obviously. But he raised me <laughs> as his own. <laughs> obviously. And that's what matters. <laughs> so that is the way of it. My apologies if I was indelicate. You know what? At least he apologized. Hardly. I know little about your land and nothing about your parentage. Ah, but in my eagerness, I've gotten ahead of myself. I can't expect you to agree on this spot when we've only just met. If you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them. Just know, though, that if it's adventure you seek, you could do far worse than come with me. I am on no. vacation. This is only a rumor. Oh, that I'm on vacation? Yeah, that checks out. But apparently, the contest will involve the fabled city of gold and the legendary beast, Valley Armanda. Try talk! I'm in. Let's go. Tell me that doesn't pique your interest. Interest? Pete. You have my complete attention. This is strictly a rumor, nothing more. Golden City? I've heard about it before. Oh, yeah, I have! From a certain uh, gray haired individual. So the tales have reached even these shores. <laughs> Can't help but feel proud. I advise you not to put much store by these rumors. Golden cities are not but a dreamer's fancy. I don't know about that. Says the dreamer who was bent on finding one when he was a child. Just because you failed doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Interesting. Tuli Yolal and the Golden City. Just like in the letter to Grandfather. So am I to assume that the Golden City will not be gold gold, but solution nine, is that the vibe? Is that it's gonna be the reveal? That it's like, it's actually, it wasn't gold, it's uh, like future tech. All right. Regardless of what the contest may entail, it'll be no simple thing. If I'm to triumph, I only capable and dependable companions. So why are they, so why is Yoshida getting up on stage and saying that we will split the scions with this choice. She's like, this is a fine choice. I I, I mean, uh, clearly there's something more at stake here. So let's go on a hunt together. There's no better way to get acquainted. My guess is the Stinian sides with the Mamul Jaw, but the Mamul Jaw are both sides, right? It's a like Mamul Jaw led sit. I don't know. I have no clue. I don't know what's about to happen. I don't know. Look at all the Lalas, though. Them's good. Them's good people. A journey to Tural. Errol. Errol. Uh, that's the long and short of it. At the very least, I ask you go on this hunt. Yeah, let's go. Do you want to kill something? Hell yes. Where are we going? What are we doing? Ging, 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 
seeking? The chance to see not only Tarol, but the fabled golden city besides? This is the stuff of grand adventures, my friend. Which is not to say you should hastily accept this invitation, mind. There's still a great deal we do not know. So let us begin to rectify that by first getting acquainted with our visitor in the manner she suggests. I'm not certain what might be a suitable occasion for her hunt, however. Oh, I know a place! It's way up north! They got the Sixers of, of Labatt and the Timbits up there. It's gonna be great, you're gonna love it. We go to Ham. You can go to Tim Hortons, get yourself a ham sandwich, a coffee, and a crawler. It's great. You went there not long ago and called some unruly fauna, of course, but according to recent reports, other ordinarily docile fauna have grown savage. It's believed they've been unsettled by some manner of predator, and so the researchers seek assistance with identifying dispatching it. Okay, you can go over there. Let's go! That works for me. Please tell me that isn't your normal Aaronville voice. What do you... <laughs> Please. I'm so much more talented than that. Just so you know, I've honed my skills against some of the fiercest beasts in Tural. Whatever this creature is, it had better be able to put up a proper fight. Or it'll end uh, before we have a chance to get acquainted. with you kid what's going on before we can prove ourselves capable and dependable companions my apologies but I must see to some preparations pray go on ahead to the aisle I'll join you as soon as possible are we gonna get full-on pictomancer cryo right now is this happening If the rest of you is ready, we can head to the harbor. This being guild ship business, I should, it should be simple enough to secure a vessel, whatever. I love that I've so thoroughly disappointed you. <laughs> You're like, of all the voices. Uh, let's actually go. Cardi, yo! Going all the way down here, huh? Look, it's not my fault if the character speaks before they have a voice. I have to give them a voice, and then it just sticks. Same with the Taru. The Taru's voice sticks because they didn't give me a voice to begin with. That's on them, not me. That's that's a them problem, not me. That's not a Jesse problem. That's not a Jesse problem. So, we have to take a ship? Ugh, oh, I barely set foot on dry land. Oh well, I suppose it's for a good cause. A hunt? Come on, let's get going! Upon boarding the ship, several cutscenes will play in sequence. Yes. Addition required to save battle. I love battle. We're back here, minus the dungeon. From here, we must walk. So much ice, it rivals even Yoktural. Ooh, a white bear. I wonder what it tastes like. <laughs> I love you. Remember. We're here to deal with creatures that have been deemed an unacceptable danger. Do not attack anything else unprovoked. 
I know. I know. So this is the aisle where Aether literally bursts forth. Aye, the Isle of Ham. The geysers lie deep inland, however. You know what absolutely sucks? We have this new character so filled with joy and hope for the future. A character who is inspiring and filled with life. And I just know by the end of this next expansion, it's all going to go to shit. <laughs> I just know it's all going to hell. <laughs> Can't wait! Oh boy! You really are knowledgeable. Kona told me nothing about this place. I doubt your brother managed to come out this way. He's like to have toured facilities like Labyrinthos, however. So her brother is here? The great big cavern under the city. It's amazing that they could make a sky down there complete with a sun. This brother of yours, he has been to Charlian. He has. Kono's my second older brother. And until recently, he was a student in the city. He went on and on about technological amusements. It made me want to come here too one day. And so I did. I think I understood something of how he felt when I set foot in his beloved studio. He went to the studio? Your brother must be quite a scholar. But I wonder, like you, he'd be royalty, yes? With such a personage coming to Charlian to receive an education would surely have caused a stir, yet I recall nothing of the sort. He consulted with the head of the studium beforehand that his identity might remain secret. Being Mikote, he had no trouble blending in. He's adopted like me, you see. One time, though, he almost let it slip to a professor. It was all he could do to parry the barrage of questions. Time out. Time out. Time out. Hold on. Time out. Time out. T hold your horses. Hold your horses. Uh, Dawn Trail. Hold your butt. Hold on to your whole butt. Um, open as new image. Open that image. Uh, okay, this is a terrible image. Uh, nope, never mind. It's not this. Interesting. Uh, um, ooh, it could be. Hold on, it could be. At first, I was thinking I was wrong. But maybe, Jesse Cox, once again, you are incredibly right. Oh, yeah, here we go. Boom. At first, I was saying, oh, there's a character here, and I thought it might have been this guy, but then I realized, bing bong, who is this right here? Is that the brother? Is that the brother? Solid question. And he looks like he's wearing a studium outfit, you know? He, look, this guy reads nerd. I'm just going to say it. He reads giant nerd burger. But then we got this dude. And I wonder if he's going to be another person trying to, like, challenge for the thingamabobber, for the throne. Just putting it out there. Says the guy with the glasses. Come on. I'm cool, guys. I'm so cool. I'm the coolest. All right, cool. Like me. My nose inches. You're having no shortage of questions myself, I can imagine. Ask whatever you like. I don't mind. But I maintain hunting together is the best way to get to know someone.
The researchers should be up ahead. Let's find them and learn what we can. like a little fun duty? The researcher should be just ahead. Nice. Oh, uh, we zip lined over here. I would have loved to see the zip line. The building to the northeast. Okay. Calm down. This man. The building so to the northeast. Ordinarily harmless creatures have grown savage. Don't know what's got them riled up, but I'll take down any that thinks to try me. Am I just going to AoE them? Is she the tank? Nope. 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 Nice. No tank for me. This is a fun little squad. I like Look, this. Someone's in trouble. Yeah, taste my axe. What was that? These animals are usually so docile. What was that? What now? Pardon? Axe. Oh, taste my axe. Right, 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 right. Who is this? Hard press surveyor. Oh, thank goodness you've come. I take it you're the one who answered our petition. Wait, aren't you? You are little the adventurer who saved our star. Would that our meeting was under better circumstances? I was conducting a routine inspection of the transporter here when I suddenly found myself surrounded. You'll find more of the same across the chasm. Once docile animals grown strangely aggressive, my colleagues there can tell you more. If you'll give me just a moment, I can finish checking our equipment. You really equipment. are famous. I am famous. I told you. Get on board the fan train. And for good reason, as you'll soon see for yourself. Graha's like, do not move in on my territory. I have worked to forge this. Do not ruin this for me. <laughs> Quite an interesting contraption you've got here. Is that our petitioner? Let's go and have a chat. The adventurer come to answer my petition, I presume? We are most fortunate to have one of our one of your considerable skill here to aid us. A creature of unknown origins has been sighted on the island in recent days, and we believe its presence has affected the local fauna. The animals beyond the gate are the worst affected we've encountered thus far. Though we dare not go back. Your task is to quell any threats you find and search for traces of the beast responsible for all this. If you should find anything, anything at all, we'd be most grateful if you would share it with us. <laughs> Girl ran I'll handle time this. Time to murder. Yo! What is this ability? Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> is that all? That's pretty cool. That's, you know, that's pretty cool. That was all right. Come that on. Was, let's pick cool. up the creature's trail. Can I go in this building or no? 
This is kind of fun. They led us back into this area that we couldn't get into before. Never mind. That's a lie. <laughs> that's a, there is a map border. Oh, they want to go over there? All right, fine. That's a beast carcass. These claw marks. I've seen their like before. Yeah? Oh, now we can... It's starting to feel like a proper hunt. So really, I found it to begin with, but I'm such an, an I'm so good that they needed to catch up. I get it. I get it. Find feathers. Nice. Feathers. But did they belong to the predator or the prey? So, how do you prefer our prey? Roasted or raw? You presume it's even safe to eat? Little JC only likes snack packs and, uh, you know, like, high C. He likes, uh, he likes Caribbean cooler and orange slices. That's what little JC likes. Yeah, he likes Lunchables and Capri Sun. That's it. Whatever beast left them is lunch. Still fresh. Fun. Whatever this beast, it cannot they be far. Definitely pooped over here. Ooh! Suppose they're upset we disturbed their home. Caramel, what are you doing, bud? Who knows? If they're spoiling for a fight, then they've got one. Oh. Let's head back and report what we found. Oh, dang! It's one of these guys. Powerful wings and razor-sharp talons. <laughs> Worthy prey. Follow your nose. It it speaks. Mm -hmm. 
It's heading towards the falls. I'll stay with the researchers. The creature, I leave to you. Come, Wuklamat! Right. She got got? Just so we're clear, I wasn't startled by the beast earlier. It caught me by surprise, that's all. Yeah, no, totally clear. Forgive me, but I failed to see a difference. <laughs> Roasted. I'm getting hungry. Let's be done with this so we can eat. Caught me by surprise! Caught me by surprise! <laughs> Think you're clever, huh? I'll rip off that beak and roast you on a spit! I don't think he has, like, I don't think he comprehends, but... Let's go! Hit him with the oops and the doops and the oopsie doops. Talk all you like, bird. I'm going to have the last laugh. Oh, I'm going to enjoy sinking my teeth into you. Ah, shut up already, you blasted bird! Thanks, Raha! Look out. Oh, this is trash. I've never seen such an enormous color gray. Thanks, bud. Not good. Quickly, gather together. Can we just get gooped? Oh, no, I'm full goop. I've got you. Don't even stress it. Don't even stress this mess. Spread out, everyone. Okay, I'll do that. You pay for that. Save your comrades. How? What the shit? What do you mean? Sweet sassy molassy. You better get out of the way. Thank you. I didn't know I had to attack the concept of wind. <laughs> I thought I was like, I wasn't sure what I was supposed to do there. I was like, am I attacking them? No, I'm attacking literal wind.
hardly a tickle. All this kind of started just because this dude was talking shit. And here we are. Throw everything you have at it. Beep, beep. And I had barely limbered up. <laughs> it was a terrible foe, but no match for your axe. Oh, Grandpa Tia. Oh, only to be expected. You were pretty impressive yourselves. I was right to invite you on a hunt. But what a curious bird that was. Though we have similar in Tural, they don't grow so big or use such dirty tricks. And... Pictomancer. Dirty tricks? Dirty tricks? I dirty and despicable. Otherwise, I could have easily. Pictomancer. Leave this to me. Let's go. Amazing. Solid outfit. I am terribly, terribly sorry to have kept you all waiting. <laughs> she arrived as I was seeing the researchers to safety. It was all I could do to keep up with her after I explained what happened. So this is what you meant by seeing to preparations? After hearing of the contest, I thought how wonderful it would be to join you. In coming here, I wanted to demonstrate my skill at arms to Wuklamat. Alas, it seems I missed most of the action. No way! You just <gasps> saved everyone's life! That was amazing! The piece didn't stand a chance! I'm glad to have been of service. May I ask what inspired this change? You will recall the time you descended to the Ethereal Sea in search of Hydaelyn. Recognizing that my skills were... <sighs> inadequate, I chose to provide support from afar, rather than join you. It was the same when you set forth for Ultima Thule. How it pained me to stay behind again and again. It's almost like they left you out of some key art or something. And they just forgot you existed. That's rude. That's what inspired this change. Ever since the final days were averted, I've used every spare moment to hone my craft. As you all have adapted your methods to suit the circumstances, 
I started by considering how I might best contribute. And after much deliberation, I arrived at my answer. I love her little palette. Stop! With the esoteric art passed Ugh. down by the legendary Archon Realm... Realm, stop! Ectomancy. The Archon Realm, stop it! That is great. They just straight up shouted out Realm in this game. As I recall, you have embraced versatility to effectively complement a certain someone's style. What I do is much the same. Like you, I don't want to be left behind. <laughs> Indeed. I must say, you appear to be especially keen on being involved in the ritual of succession. Is there any particular reason? Yeah, what's up with that? Yes, there is. This letter from Tuli Yolal. Right. It was addressed to my grandfather Galuf and turned up among the students' archives. The ink was faded, so I couldn't fully make out the sender's name. A uh, Galul someone. Jaja. Galul Jaja. That's my father, the Don servant. What does the letter say? While much of it isn't legible, it appears to be a request to investigate the Golden City. A request to investigate the Golden City? From the Dawn Servant himself. Well, well. Seems it may be more than a rumor after all. Being a member of the royal family, it was my hope that you could confirm the authenticity of this letter. I can say for a fact that my father didn't write this. Yes, okay. I was sitting here waiting for the twist. I was like, okay, when they pull out the letter, is is she going to be like, yeah, I got this letter from this Gula Juja guy. And she's like, oh, yeah, that's my dad. And if the letter said, like, don't trust my daughter, I would have been like, oh. Or this is my second guess, is that the person who wrote it, not the dad. All right, it works. I'll take it. Given how culturally diverse Tuli Yolal is, it was decided some time ago that a common language was needed. But instead of elevating an existing tongue and its speakers above all others, we looked to those widely spoken overseas and created an altogether new one. The similarities to your common tongue also make it quite easy to communicate in these situations, no? This letter, however, is entirely in Eorzean. If father had written this, he would have been in Turali. And what's more, it bears a wax seal. We don't bother with them. So the letter is fraudulent then? Oh, I didn't mean to say that. My father's signature is genuine, as far as I can tell, so perhaps he simply dictated it. I see. Oh, thank you for the confirmation. It seems my grandfather indeed had dealings with Tuli Yola. Let me ask you a question. Do you think that because her dad is two-headed, right? Do you think that one is <laughs> one wrote the letter and the other one signed it? And then, <laughs> do you think, can I tell you my supreme, supreme hope for this next expansion? This is not a joke. This isn't, this is what I want. This isn't like a goof. 
I want the next expansion's final boss to just be the other head. I want the other head to have been planning against the king the entire time. That's what I want. That's the thing I want the most. That's what I want. I want the other head to be like, I was behind it the entire time. That's what I want. They're both the king? Nah, 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 nah. One is clearly in charge and the other one hates him for it. He's like, everyone calls you the king because you know his name's like Ghoul, Ghoul Jaja, but what if his, his other head's like Ghoul Jojo? And he's like, everyone says Jaja, not Jojo. I want it. I'm telling you, it's going to happen. That's, that's what I want. That's what I want. Anyway, moving on. I can't help but be curious as to what exactly he was doing there. Right? And then we can get an achievement called Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. In order to help us decide on a course of action, would you mind if I asked you some questions about your home? By all means. After all, learning about one another was the purpose of this hunt. We can talk while feasting on this fellow. I, for one, am starving. You know what's crazy about this? Me realizing that currently everyone present is either a Lalafell, a giant cat, or a giant bunny. That's it. Not an elf or human in sight. That. Dude. Wait till you taste it, though. Oh, my God. Nope. All right. We ate it. Never mind. With the wildlife pacified and the researchers safe, our task is complete. That just leaves a matter of colibri meat. For better or worse, there's really only one place we can take it. Yo, to the last stand. Come on. Let's go see Dickin. 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 Everyone's ready to go glean. Everyone's a full glean, bro. Well, now, there's a famished face. I've <laughs> if I've seen one. Uh, can I get you a little? Yeah, we need you to cook up this big ass bird. Oh, bird meat from the hunt, you say? Leave it to me, I have just the recipe. It's a new dish I recently learned from some sailors. And for you lot, it's on the house. That was much you like, you hear? What is this gonna be? What are we about to eat? Yo, that looks delicious. Come, come. Let's enjoy the bounty of our first outing together. <laughs> Although I might be allergic to it. Ugh. Mm. I'd heard that Charlayan cuisine was terrible, but this is fantastic. I helped make that happen. I helped change the cuisine here. Remember that. Yo, did you just make some delicious curry? What is this? Ugh. It smells spicy. Is it the vindaloo I got before? Because you should eat that. Oh, come now. Since when did you become so soft? It's not like we don't have spicy food in Tural, too. According to Dickon, intensely hot dishes have become popular in Razadhan after a traveler ordered a curry with several times the usual amount of spice. Yo! Stop! Stop it! I can't believe that has a payoff. I can't believe that shit has a payoff. That is amazing. What a great callback. Stop it! 
So he started offering the same in order to please the growing Harnish population here in Charlian. <laughs> it's nothing I can't handle. Well, that's like me with hot food. Just suck it up. <laughs> These new animations are so good. Your boorish manners reflect poorly on the both of us. I wish you would consider your station. I swear, sometimes it feels like you open your mouth only to criticize. Would I be correct in assuming you've known each other for a long time? I thick as thieves since we were little. That's I so beg cute. to differ. She is a long-standing acquaintance. Nothing more. You know what's crazy about this? I recall having a set for those of you who've been with me long enough you remember the rpg makers days right this feels like every conversation that that group would have there was always one person who was like an insane goofball and one person who just was like okay sure <laughs> and what's funny is thomas i think was both these people combined don't fall down naked baby it's still, it's still in my head. The, the day I die, I will always think of, no, no, don't fall naked, baby. <laughs> oh, I love all of them. <laughs> I miss that gang. The last time I saw them was the last CoxCon. Pre-COVID. Pre -co One of these days I'll have to... to just go to the UK and invite them all just to hang out. Not even like a convention thing, just to hang. <laughs> I see. I see. All this time you were from Tural. Oh, would that I had known sooner. That's interesting. There's so much I'd like to ask. Also, I just want to point out that uh, these coffee cups that are on the tables are the ones you can order from the store. And I want to let you know, I ordered mine and it arrived broken. <laughs> and when I went to go, and then when I went to go get it, <clears throat> get another one uh, with a refund, they had none left in the store at the time. And so I just got a refund instead of my coffee cup. So I still don't have one. Story of my life. I, was, I would be here right now drinking from it, but it arrived broken. It was straight up shattered in the box. So... Yep. You and everyone else. I've kept it quiet so as to avoid the endless interrogations. Well, if he's going to be a miser, I'll be happy to tell you about our homeland instead. I would love to hear. Since ancient times, many peoples have called Tural home, and they've been fighting each other for nearly as long. The fighting finally stopped some 80 years ago, when the reigning Dawn Servant unified the disparate communities and founded a new nation. Okay, that's plot information. And we'll that's need. how Tuliolal came to be. Since then, we've enjoyed an era of uninterrupted peace. But my father is getting old. And he wishes to relinquish the throne to a worthy successor. One who can preserve his legacy. This is the question that I have throughout all of this. <clears throat> because Final Fantasy XIV has focused the entire story to this point on three continents. Basically the Africa, Europe, and Asia of this world. And while they have given us a lot of information about what happened to the Australia of this world, the New World... <clears throat> the North America and South America of this world has not been talked about at all. And so while we have knowledge that in the past, the uh, Alligans messed with Australia, right? I'm just, you know, Mericidia is what it is. And they had an empire that spanned all the three main continents. 
The question I have is, what the hell's been going on in the New World the entire time? Were there Assians in the New World? Were there Allegans in the New World? What was happening during all the different uh, calamities? Were they affected by the calamities? There's been multiple wars happening for the last 25 years in Eorzea, but like, they've had 80 years of prosperity in Tulal, so what's going on? Like, what's happening over there? What's going on? What happened? What's going on? What I, I'm just curious. And there's Solution 9, yeah, and Solution 9. But I'm also curious, like, even though people, for some reason on the internet, think when I say this, I'm referring to as I'm existing now, what I'm saying is, when we travel to the New World, we find evidence that Asm was there once upon a time. And because Asm was a traveler, right? And now we're a traveler and we're traveling. So, like, are we going to find more of that lore? Of, like, what was going on with that guy? Because we don't really know anyway. Just continue the quest, bud. Okay, Bucky, I will. <laughs> I got hit with just continue the quest. <laughs> I just got roasted. How about you stop talking and just press next, okay? <laughs> Including myself, there are four claimants to the throne. But while we all have the right to participate, one among us cannot be allowed to rule. I got hit with the... Wrap it up. So I'm assuming the one of us that cannot be allowed to rule is the other dude in that image. A man who is too ambitious by half. They love that phrase, by half. Word of the Garlean Empire's collapse has reached Tural. Go on. While most are simply relieved, he sees weakness to exploit and would lead our armies across the seas on a campaign of conquest. After everything my father has done to give us peace, he would drag us back into war. I can't allow it. No matter what, I must win this contest. I understand your reasons. But this being an event that will dictate the course of your nation's future, is it appropriate for outsiders like us to be involved? That's a solid question. Oh, it's more than appropriate. The Don Servant himself expressly encourages it. Never mind, that's an answer. The ruler of Tural must navigate the intricacies of myriad cultures, and there's no better way to prove oneself qualified to do so than to work with foreign allies. That's why I sought you out. Through our hunt, I've confirmed that you're a warrior of considerable skill, but more importantly, one of good character as well. And so I ask you, will you lend me your strength and help me win the throne of Tulich Yolal? Oh God, that name is never going to sit. Tulich, Tulich, oh, I can't even, I still can't. Why are you even, it's vacation. Let's get out of here, JC. You don't need to decide right this moment. No, we should. Let's just go. Let's just go. But I will need you if I'm to triumph over the competition. I'll stay here as long as I can while waiting for your answer. Tule Yolal. There we go. Got it. In that case, allow us to prepare a room for you at the Baldessian Annex. That's very kind of you. Oh, and one more thing. Once we finish eating, would you mind if I took the rest of the meat? No, go nuts. My little boy can barely eat. What are you talking about? He ate three bites of that meat and was like, I'm full for a week. This brings up a... So I'm assuming that... They said there were four people. Is that right? I'm so confused. And one of them's a baddie, which means there's three others. I assume one's her brother? I don't know. All right. 
I assume that number four is going to be the one that the that like splits the team. Is that the vibe? We're going to meet someone that's like, yo, this person actually deserves to be in charge, bro. I don't know. I have no clue. That could all just be... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. All right. For the Woke Lamat, uh, has the makings of a ruler. I cannot say. I couldn't say. But I do know that she deeply cares about nation and people. Whether they choose to help her, though, is for you and you alone to decide. Think on it well. Now then, it's past time I reported. See you in six months. Uh, what did I get? Brock the flower stew. Caviar canapes. Caviar, caviar sandwich. Baba ganoush, bro. That's the winner. Skill, speed, vitality. Hell yeah, Baba ganoush. Kid me crit hit. Yep, that's the one. Baba Ganoush. Let's go. That's good food right there. Uh-oh, what is this? Well, I dare say we now have a fair grasp of Oklahoma's situation. Still, you've been afforded time to consider her invitation. Why not use it to learn more about Tyrol? Numenon is bound to have some information on the continent. Uh, wouldn't hurt to be better informed. Yeah. Quite right. Now, uh, not only would it help you to make an, an informed decision, but if you do choose to go, you'll be better prepared for what awaits. Come, my friend. Let us be off to the archives. Nerds going to read some books. <laughs> Four contenders for the royal throne. And puppies! Really? This is my my options are. There's my boy. How you doing, bud? I guess my pudding wasn't needed to stop the final days after all. But I persevere. Once people taste it, they'll be happier than they were before the apocalypse started. I just know it. Keep going, pudding way. I believe in you. What if none of the candidates are fit to rule? What if none of them are? Well, I mean, obviously the answer then... Who is this girl? Who is this girl? What is her role? I mean, in theory, one, uh, two, three, maybe four. But she could also be the person from uh, Solution 9, and maybe she's like, the bad girl. But also, what if this guy is number four? I'm just saying, what if this guy doesn't even have a face, bro? This guy doesn't even get to see. I'd be pissed if I was, I'd be like, I'm here to take over, brother. Come on now, I'm just putting it out there. You know it's an option. You know fantasy games as well as I do. You say that's the current ruler, but, but he got two heads. Yeah, well, you know what? Maybe the other head doesn't believe he's dying of old age. Maybe he's a necromancer head. And he's like, I've been waiting this entire time. You never know. The origins of blue magic can be traced back to the esoteric practices of the Wallachy uh, tribe in the distant continent of Tyrol. The tribe holds nature in the highest, and seeking to cultivate spiritual connection with it, they've learned to harness the power of the wildlife around them. In exchange for teaching them the common tongue, I was permitted to live among them and train their ways. Those days were some of the most grueling I remember, but they were tremendously rewarding. For instance, I had the privilege of visiting Lapis Canyon, the tribe's sacred grounds. Okay, so we're going to meet them for sure. It is so named for the ceruleum deposits that wells up from the surface, turning the entire canyon a brilliant blue. Under a shaman's watchful eye, I finally managed to master the Wallachie's uh, art 
and make the animal's powers my own. As no name existed for it in the common tongue, I took the liberty of naming it Blue Magic. Mm. The reason I chose this color, as you will have doubtless gleaned, is for the significance it holds to the Wallachy. I cannot think of a name more fitting to honor the people from whom this noble magic was born. Isn't this the same place where uh, a certain cat got bopped over the head hilariously? I don't want to spoil that. It's a great moment. Let us begin by comparing the geographical characteristics of the three great continents in Tural. The former stretches from east to west and lies entirely within the northern hemisphere. In contrast, the latter extends to the far reaches of both northern and southern hemispheres, and, and a difference immediately presents itself in the form of climate variance. Shifts in climate tend to be gentler when moving east to west, but harsher moving north to south. Owing to this fact, longitudinal migration is far more common in history, whether it be by men, animals, or plants. Uh, a case in point is the Allegans, who rose to power in Aldenard before advancing east to Ilsebard. Their movement would be mirrored thousands of years later by the Garlians. Meanwhile, although the disparate tribes of Tural waged war with one another for generations, stymied by the climate, none could make any great headway north or south. Tribes hailing from frozen lands withered beneath the desert sun. Those that thrived in the open plains could not pierce dense jungles. Such is uh, the way of it until the leader of the Mamoja succeeded in bringing the continent under one banner. Given the land's divided history and, uh, reason, and the reason thereof, one cannot help but be in awe of this feat, truly, as a testament to the Autarch's greatness. Every land has given rise to unique wildlife, and the continent, the continent, the continent, yep, of Tyrol is no exception. Yet while some of her creatures have become a familiar sight in Eorzea, many a more exist that are rarely seen this side of Ingo Deep. This tome introduces a select variety of species, as described in the testimonies of sailors and adventurers. Alpaca, they are awesome. Have I ever told you the time? I don't think I have a photo on me. When my uh, dad and I went to Machu Picchu, there was, um, when my dad and I went to, this is, I'll never forget this. So my dad and I went to Machu Picchu and we ended up going up the mountain as you do to get to, to get to Machu Picchu. And when we got there, the, uh, when you like first walk, so by the way, What's crazy about it is it's like jungle, 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 and then there's Cusco, which is the town that's there, and then there's like one small other town, but the rest of it is like indigenous peoples that live in in the like around the mountain in small little areas. Like the one place we went, they were just building a school, right? Um, yes, Cusco. Where's Kronk? Somewhere there. Um, and so we uh we were climbing up the mountain. We get we get to to Machu Picchu, and when you get to Machu Picchu. There's, there's like an access of tour buses and there's like a train. Apparently one side of the mountain is completely civilized <laughs> and the other side is like nothing there. And so you can take the, a bus down, you can take a train. Um, there's all sorts of shit. Anyway, when you get there, there's a beautiful hotel. Maybe the best hotel I've ever stayed at in my life. One of the coolest things I've ever, like that hotel slapped. But anyway, when you when you when you go into Machu Picchu, there's like a line you have to get in, and they stamp your passport with I guess if you go to the Seven Wonders or you go to the Wonders of the World or the New Wonders of the World, there's many Wonders of the World. They stamp it like you were there. I didn't get that when I went to Chichen Itza, but like whatever. So they stamped it. We walk in, and the tour guide we had was like, "Okay, here's the deal. We're gonna explore all this, but before we go in, to your right." is the best view in the entire park. The best view. 
And we were like, okay, well, let's go check it out. And he's like, in order to get to the best view, you must climb 365 stairs directly up. Mind you, we're already at 14,000 feet. So I am... I am losing it. I will say, and I and look, I'm not saying I'm not saying you should do this, kids. In fact, don't do this. But if you ever find yourself in Peru and you find yourself 14,000 feet up, get yourself some coca leaf tea. That shit will fix you up real quick. Real quick. Get yourself just like they charge you for air. I, we didn't do air. We did coca leaf tea. Apparently, coca leaf tea sets you right. <laughs> And if you're wondering, Jesse, what's in coca leaf tea? Don't ask questions you don't want answers to. Anyway, so we hike up the uh, we hike up the side of this thing, 365 steps, and the entire time there's little like off ramp things, um, and there's a bunch of like people. You know, to be honest, because it's a World Heritage Site, like one of those things, right? There's a lot of older people there. And so, you know, if you ever want to feel inspiration to, like, do a thing, I watched an old man with, like, a literal walker climb up a mountain. So if that dude can do that, you can do anything. Anything's possible. And so, um, we're going up the side of this thing, and I decided, all right, I can either, heavy breathing and all, stop, catch my breath, and keep going, or just keep going. And because... That's my attitude with everything in life is rather than stop and take a moment, just like push my way through it. I did all 365 of those damn stairs. And when I got to the top, my chest felt like it was like my lungs were trying to escape my body. So I, and because when I got up there, I saw everyone else was laying down as well. Like all the other tourists when they made it to the top, cause it's even, it's so high up. You have like, we're above the clouds give you an example of what this was like we were above the clouds at the time it's crazy and i like um i laid down with everyone else who was up there and i don't know if i fell asleep or if i just flat passed out i don't know what happened but i woke up with like a slimy wet thing on my face and when i looked up directly looking down at me alpaca <laughs> dude was staring right at my face he was like, sup, bro? <laughs> it was so funny. And hold on, hold on, hold on to prove to you. I can actually prove this. So when we got to the top, like I said, they said it was the best view in the entire, uh, in the entirety of Machu Picchu. And they were like, you gotta take, when you get up there, you gotta take a photo. No one will believe that you're here. It's that good looking. And if you go to my Instagram page, you can 100% see this photo that looks like I stole it out of a magazine. It's incredible. It looks like it's so far back though. Oh my God. This. It looks like I took that and stole it from a magazine. Just, st like, just stole this. Stole it from a magazine. <laughs> like it's a it's a perfect photo. And then I got to then I had to take a I was actually here photo to actually be like guys I'm actually here. And for those who want to know, yes, every day we ate food that looked like this. That was just meat and potatoes with like a few veggies. And every day. Uh, over the course of the week that we were there, I had more food than I've ever had in my life. And I still lost 15 pounds. Now I'm not sure if that was all the climbing or the coca leaf tea. I don't know, but one of them destroyed me and it was great. And then, uh, the story I'll always tell is my dad found out that one of the tribes along the way, one of the groups of people we were going to go meet their color I guess of all their clothing was red or they, they, they loved red. Like the color red was their thing. And so my dad decided he wanted to bring them gifts, but more importantly, he wanted to wear red, a red hat so that he could ingratiate himself with the people there. Right. And so my dad rolls into town with a red hat and a bag of toys for all the kids that live there with this white ass beard. Hold on. I'll show you. 
with this white ass beard, all the kids, every kid, when we walked into town, started screaming, Papa Noel, Papa Noel. They thought he was Santa Claus. They all thought this dude was Santa Claus. To the point where my dad like hung out with these kids for hours. He told me, he told me as we were sitting there, he's like, you know what? Tell your mom I'm not coming home. <laughs> and I was like, come on, old man. We got to go. <laughs> it was very cute. It was very, very cute. So, yeah. I don't know why we got there from my alpaca story, but I'll never forget that. I looked up, and there was just an alpaca face, like, licking me. And I was like, okay, stop it. <laughs> it's great. I would say. So far, I am two for seven. I've been to Chichen Itza. I've been to Machu Picchu. I still need, I still need like Great Wall of China, even though I hear that's a pain in the ass. The pyramids, I still need to do those. I've done, I've done the North American ones though. I haven't done Nazca lines, which I should do. But yeah, I love, I love seeing the world wonders. Look, it's what, it's one of the few things I enjoy more than anything else. Their soft white fleece is highly prized by weavers, while their strong legs and sure footedness make them capable beasts of burden. The weaver, these ferocious scale kin, uh, is uh, this ferocious scale scale kin, is native to dense jungles of Tyrol. The Mammal Jaw have succeeded in taming them and utilize their prodigious strength for manual labor. Given their immense size and power, are these the things from the trailer? It should come as no surprise that the Wuvre is also employed as a siege beast. Yep, enemy fortifications cannot long withstand its horned brute's rampage. Valley Garmanda. Tarali folklore holds that this bird-like creature is the mightiest of beasts and the very embodiment of nature's power. Whether it exists beyond myth, however, is uncertain. It does. It is impossible to adequately discuss Eorzean cuisine without speaking of that land from which many of our modern day staples hail, the far western continent of Tulal, Tural, even. Ogre pumpkins, ruby tomatoes, even the ubiquitous popoto, these crops and more that regularly grace Eorzean dining tables trace their origins to the new world, as the place is known uh, to most. So yeah, that uh, absolutely checks out in real life as well. The tale of this culinary immigration begins in the year 1498 of the Sixth Astral Era, when a little mince and sailor named Ketin Ram successfully traversed the Indigo Deep to arrive at the theretofore unknown continent. Ketin Ram spent uh, several moons exploring inland, in the course of which he encountered the denizens of the sprawling nation of Mamulja. He was even granted an audience with the supreme leader whose confidence he won along with permission to roam freely. Keterim would return to Tyrol several times, but uh, during his first expedition, he charted the land and gathered myriad root vegetables and seeds to bring back to Limsa Laminsa. Most notable of these was the Popoto, whose uh, ease of cultivation and, uh, and nutritional value saw it quickly spread to all corners of Eorzea. Produce was far from the only bounty of Ketanram's expeditions to Tyrol, Many tantalizing recipes such as bean-filled burrito and gripping legends such as the, the one of the Golden City, bean-filled burrito. That's my favorite, such as the bean-filled burrito. <laughs> to those outside of Ketan Ram's circle, Drawl largely remains shrouded in mystery. Yet its influence on our cuisine cannot be overstated. Many scholars, including myself, would relish the chance to immerse themselves in sweet, sweet tacos. Tacos e bean-filled burritos. I'm going to go tell Graha about these tacos and burritos, bro. You're going to lose your mind. Scour the library to your satisfaction, have you? Excellent. 
While there are a few books wholly dedicated to the subject of Tyrol, I dare say you found tidbits of useful information scattered here and there. But come, let's continue this outside. The mammoths do not take kindly to chatter. Can't wait to get shushed by a mammoth. Now then, I'm keen to hear your honest impressions. I couldn't help but notice that we read the very same uh, we read the very same book on cuisine. I was pleasantly surprised to find references to Thrall within. Among them, did anything in particular pique your interest? Uh Popotos That's it, that's the one. Popotos, I found a new found appreciation for them. As have I. Despite having just enjoyed a hearty meal, I found myself craving for Keep it business, Graha. As they keep well, they are boon to sailors. And it was the same property that allowed them to survive uh, the voyage to Eorzea. The book also mentioned a method of preservation which sees Popotos repeatedly frozen and dried. The resulting, uh, resultant product was apparently used in stew by people in mountainous regions. I should like to sample that dish one day. That and all the unique cuisines of that vast continent. <laughs> Little JC's like, yep, yep, potatoes will be good. Moving on, did you perchance learn aught uh, about the fauna of Tyrol? Given your adventuring background, I expect the topic would be uh, of interest to you. I learned about alpacas. <laughs> no, we'll do this one. Now, why do I get the impression you're imagining pitting your skills against the fell beast? Unfortunately, I found scant details on your would-be prey. One source simply described it as an enormous winged creature with scales hard as steel that rules the skies. I should like to see it with my own eyes, presuming it even exists. I thought I heard familiar voices. What up? It's the twins, back at it once again. Fancy running into you two here. Well, well. Have some research of your own, do you? Aye. We hope to arm ourselves with knowledge that may benefit the Guardian people. Blech. Having forged a new trade agreement with Razad Han, they will next look to foster relations with other nations. This includes former Imperial provinces. In view of this, we hope to find hints and history on how neighbors of differing races and ideologies might engage with one another. Of you two, what endeavor brings you here this day? Talking about potatoes, <laughs> potatoes and big birds. I mean, that's pretty much it. You guys ever heard the history of potatoes? You're gonna love this. A nation composed of the disparate peoples of Tyrol. I dare say this is precisely the kind of example we seek. We do well to read up on uh, Tulliolil ourselves. The contest is literally the only one allowed to help with Lamart. There's no mention of such restrictions as I recall. On the contrary, Wook Lamart gave us the impression that she could have several champions. <laughs> that girl was like, I cannot wait to kill things. I think I know how to make the most of our respite. Follow me, Alphano! We are planning to do... I'll say wait oh, oh. But see, my plans have changed, if you'll excuse me. We didn't get to tell them about the bean burritos! Oh my god. They never could rest on their loyals, laurels. Come, let us return to the annex. I love how whenever he sits, his little feet just... His little feet just wiggle back and forth. He's just got the cutest little sitting. Whatever he does, his little cutie pie. Is this our last, like, 
So long, Charlian. It's just, despite all that we've learned, I can't help but feel we've yet to hear the whole story. Yarp! What about you, my friend? Are you inclined to accept or refuse Wurklamat's request? Never say no to a new adventure. I'm still undecided, to be honest. I'd rather not get involved in politics. Come on! Little JC will always be up for adventure. Ha! Huh. I thought you might say that. With an intrepid attitude such as yours, I believe all shall be well. Be it the contest or something else, there will be many trials for you to overcome at your destination. But in the course of seeing new lands and meeting new people, you'll surely find a way forward. That's what adventurers do, is it not? Such a journey would be the envy of many a scholar. Distant as it is, Tural remains largely unknown to us, with only meager records to be found in Numenon. The experiences to be had, all the things you might hear, feel, and think. It's enough to stir me to the core. Life is a series of journeys, my friend, and there's no telling what awaits us on the long road. But what's important is to be true to yourself as you walk it. Only then can we hope to be content when we arrive at the end of one and step forward into another. Ah, but there's an idea. I have a matter to attend to at the Agora. Please, go on inside. I will join you shortly. <laughs> Even little JC was like... Scions. What is what is what is what is what is going on? That man was like, "I'm just going to hide out here and not even. I don't even want to be a part of the conversation. I'm just gonna snoop." Okay, thank you. Welcome back, little. If you're looking for Wucklemont, she's currently with uh, the others in her chambers. If you like, I can go fetch them for you. Yes. Understood. Please wait in the main hall.
very big map. But not big enough. Oh! You have the look of someone who's made up their mind. Go on, then. Let's hear it. Uh, number one, to turn down an adventure, I'll do it. I wish to boldly go where I've never gone before. Oh. Wee, 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 wee. <laughs> then you need me as much as I need you. Together we'll blaze new trails in Tural. You're not planning to leave without us, are you? Yo! Let's go, cool kid team! Alpha no, Alize! What are you two doing here? We happened to cross paths at Numenon earlier, you see. And I told them about Wuklamat. And when we fortuitously met again at the Agora just now, they expressed an interest in meeting our visitor. Ah, you must be the twins who are sneaking after Aaronville's toads. <laughs> That's true! That happened! A hundred <laughs> things about us you could have told her, and you chose that! First impressions last. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so good. Tis an honor and a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Your Highness. Alphano Levier at your service, and this is my sister Alize. Oh no, let's not do that. I really can't stand titles. So, you want to participate in the contest too, is that right? Indeed we do. We've been assisting with the rebuilding effort in Garlemald. Yet while progress is being made, the question remains of how the nation might reconcile with its neighbors. We believe there is much we might learn from Tuliolal, a nation founded on unity. And in return for this honor, we would spare no effort in supporting your claim. The more the merrier, I say. And I'd be keen to learn about Eorzea and Garlemald from you as well. Having recruited so many committed and capable allies, I presume you have no need for my continued assistance? Nonsense! Like I told you before, you're indispensable. They're strong, eh? But strangers to our land. They need someone to guide them, to point out the dangers and spare them grisly deaths. I can't think of anyone better suited to that task than you. What's more, despite your assertions, I know you haven't given up on this city of gold. <clears throat> As I recall, Kryl, you were the first to state your desire to visit Tural. Perhaps I was. Still, I can't help but worry about being away, just when our order is beginning to find its feet again. You have nothing to worry about. I haven't forgotten how you held the fort while I set off to explore Alzadal's legacy. It's only fair that I return the favor. Pray, leave the students to Ojika and me. But, Raha... <laughs> you want to retrace your grandfather's steps, don't you? This is a rare opportunity, and I insist that you seize it. Yo! Yo, that face was incredible! That eye move was like, 
bro. <laughs> oh, man. Thank you, Raha. Thank you. Well, looks like it's settled. I'm counting on you all to help me win the throne. I suppose now is a good time to show you what I spent a small fortune on at the Agora. Tataru's like, what happened to the money? <laughs> there. This, my friends, is the latest map of the world created to celebrate our friendship with the Loperitz. Cast your eyes west of Charlian, for there it lies. The site of your next great adventure, Tural. You can even see uh, Maricidia. Look at that, down the south pole, down there. Oh, but screw that. Ignore that place. Can I tell you something really embarrassing? I was genuinely waiting for it to be like, meanwhile, in Garlemald. <laughs> I, was, I was really waiting for that to happen. I was like... <laughs> I was waiting. I was waiting for it to happen. Like, meanwhile, in Garlemald... Alphano! Colin is amazing, by the way. By the by. Bathin, amazing, by the by. Look at that. Peter killing it. Tim killing it. Shout out to the rest of the world's cast, but to my English VO. I love this. I love this. Saying, what if Jesse Cox was there as Tyrol NPC4? Oh, welcome to Tyrol, Uses. This way, you beast now. Come on, that's good. That's good. These are really well done pieces of artwork. Yo, shout out to all the ways. Bethan, Ari, Bethan again. I love you. Back look, keep being amazing. Well, I forgot Pandemonium actually had a voice. That dude was like, I am a guy now. Forgot about that. So many god Bethan was just our entire pantheon. Hey, Joe! We miss you, man. We miss you.
That guy, he seems totally fine. That dude seems totally fine and very alive. Meanwhile, and meanwhile in Garlemald, and meanwhile in Garlemald. Nope. Just creative business unit three. I forgot, this all started because this man bought a map that was too expensive. And wait, it ended by buying a map that was too expensive. No one learned any lessons. Not a single lesson was learned by anyone on this team. Not a single one of them learned a lesson. Ay ay ay. All right, let's get it. All right. Let's turn this in. Lest you wonder about your passage to Rawl, Erinville will arrange a ship through his guild. You need only worry about your own preparations. Thinking of which, please take this with you, a rugged and ready knapsack. Whoa! But I already have one, but okay. Meanwhile. <gasps> Lips is close enough! Stop. What is this man doing? When does the next ship set sail? May I ask your destination? The north and east I've already seen. I suppose I'll head west this time. West, you say? So he's going to be ingratiated with them by the time we get there. Meanwhile, old Shelly, oh my god. This song is great, by the way. I see you've made up your mind. I had a feeling you'd be keen. But to think that our comrades, too, are thither bound. Fate doth work in mysterious ways. Interesting. What is... Th hmm. Indeed. It will be a grueling task, having to contend with them. If the prospect doth trouble thee, it is not too late to decline the petition. Though thine expression would suggest thou art far from perturbed. Oh, how could I possibly be, knowing what's to come? <laughs> Then let us delay no further and secure passage on a vessel. Aye. This will be a mission to remember. This man looked directly at camera. Me? And one Come, more. My friend, we make for Tural. Meanwhile, Stola? Nope, nope, one last moon. One last look at the moon. Tell me, have you been to the ruins beneath the waters of the bounty? Yes. Or the treasure islands beyond the frozen waters of blind frost in Offerd's north. Yes. 
the fabled golden cities of the new world. Yes. Yes to all of it. Yes to all of it. Weigh anchor now, the tide is high, and dawn of new adventure nigh. Row forth to break horizon's bond, and tread the gilded path beyond. Well, I haven't been there yet, but I'm saying yes to all the things. I'm saying yes to, to things, to thingoos. I want yes. All the yes also. Uh -oh. Tessa's already gleaned out. Oh, okay. So this is going to be a fashion accessory. Oh, wait. Hold on. What happens if I put it on the bag that I have? <laughs> That's really cute. And I hate that if I get into combat, this comes off, right? Also, those boots are far too big for me. Whose boots are these, JC? Whose boots do you have on your bag? It doesn't come off in combat anymore. Stop. Stop. Is this true? That's super cute. If I want a punch in the feels, I don't want a punch in the feels. I don't want to. I don't want to get feels punched. What am I doing in the codex, bro? I don't remember where they put that damn thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Under collections, eh? I don't remember where collections are. Collection. Grile doing doing the Lord's work. Seventh on Pictomancer. That's official. All right. The last one. A man whose true name was Hades, mighty sorcerer of Eld, who became Solus Zoscalvis, founding father of Garlean Empire, who threatened the world as the most dangerous of foes. Uh, who stood at your side, the most desperate of friends. An ancient who clove his ideals to the bitter end. A man who rendered up his all for the people he loved. A man who once lived. Single, very manly tear. So, spirit vessel. One extremely manly tear for my boy. <laughs> Thank you. Student of Aldassian, Cerulean, Magitek. You know, I totally forgot they did this because they were just like, yeah, we got 10 years of lore, so we might as well. All right, let me scroll down here. Number of the Warrior of Light can attest to his final moments. He rests at the edge of the firmament. Rests! That's a, that's a loaded term. What does that mean exactly? What does that mean exactly? But like, what is dead? <laughs> you know what? I actually like it more if he's still alive and stuck there forever. That makes it even better for me, honestly. Dude is just like, ah! <laughs> Honestly, that makes it even better. Lovely. All right, cool, cool, cool. cool. 